Retouching is something that all Photoshop users have to consider sometimes, and more often than not, it involves adjusting your subjects. You can be as far or as subtle as you'd like, but as with many things in Photoshop, actions can help speed up your workflow. In this video, we're going to be focusing on how to edit a subject's face using a supplied set of retouching actions. Remember, you can download them in the description below. Let's start by using the sharpening actions to give a little more definition around the eyes. Once you've downloaded the actions from the file silo and opened them in Photoshop, simply go to the sharpening set. You can choose the action you want depending on how much you want to sharpen. Simply hit the play button and you'll see that the effect has been applied and now you have a black mask. Now, by using a soft white brush, you'll be able to mask the sharpening back in as if you're painting more detail into your subject. It really is as easy as that. Now that you've sharpened in the right places, we're going to soften the skin a little so that we have a nice contrast. Again, hit the play button on the action you wish to choose. The same thing will happen as with the sharpening actions and you'll be given a black mask on which to work. Soften by using the brush just as you did before. You may even wish to use two layers of softening for this. Improving the eyes come next and we're going to use exactly the same techniques. For these actions, you have a range of colours and tones for the irises. There are a few sets of green, a few of blue, a couple of brown and some really quite bright options. You might want to create something quite close to life or give your subject abnormally bright eyes, which works well for styles such as manga. We're going to pick quite a natural tone to show you here though, so just hit the play button and brush your effect straight in as before. Now with the eyes brightened and colourful, Let's apply the same idea to the lips. Each of these actions is named after an HTML colour, so it's easy to see which colour is which. Again, we can go for something quite subtle and real to life, or something rather outlandish. But let's hit the play button again and mask in with a soft brush exactly what you'd like to show. Last but not least, let's just touch up the hair. As with all the actions we've used so far, we can give a totally different look to this subject. We can dye all of the hair for example, or we can add detail, highlights, lowlights, or just touch up the edges. Play your selected action, and again, use subtlety and low opacity to bring the effect to life, and just brush over the strokes that you wish to apply. And there we have it. That's a quick introduction on how to use our retouching actions, and remember these actions are completely free for you to use. All you have to do is click on the link to the file silo today, get a free account and download the actions. There are tons more Photoshop resources on there too, so do check them out. Thanks for watching this video, remember to hit subscribe and follow us on Twitter, and thanks for watching.